Bring Tushar Gandhi, I'd like to bring you in this, on this conversation. You know, we talk about these two icons, uh, these two stalwarts, uh, whose own interpersonal relationship were as complex as what their legacy is. Um, how do you view it in the current context where, you know, they're suddenly back into the center stage on a national political level as well, be it the left, right, centrist, everybody uh, wants to invoke them. Have we been able um, to emulate them truly? Uh, before I uh, start into your question and answer your question, I will be guilty of paying lip service to both these great icons of Indian democracy if I don't begin with registering my strong condemnation of the draconian persecution of Indian independent media that has been launched by the government of India in the last couple of days, reprehensibly the day after Gandhi Jayanti. That itself shows how much we understand Bapu because I think if they stand for anything, the two stand for liberty, freedom, and for the rule of law. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, day by day, we are seeing the erosion of these values. So that is where the country stands. I think the problem is with, as far as Bapu goes, it's with people like me who have made it our life's mission to be identified as Gandhians. And we have done the greatest damage to him because we have allowed his deification to happen instead of allowing his ideology to be his legacy. And when that happens, I think the legacy and the ideals die out because it's so easy to pretend to worship. You know, go abroad, go and get your photographs with all the statues and things and then come back and sit with people who fire bullets at Bapu's image or abuse him, parliamentarians who abuse him. That is where the whole issue is with Baba Saheb. I'm sorry to say that, but just like Bapu, also with Baba Saheb, the hurdle to understanding that great person has been created by the politicization of his legacy into, you know, it's so sad that such a titan is today viewed as a Dalit leader. He is the leader of this nation, he is the leader of this republic, he is the icon of our constitution, but you go and talk about him and he becomes a Dalit leader. And th these are the things that we need to be aware of, how hypocritic we are in our worship also, how insincere we are in our worship, and how we reduce ideals into rituals and then corrupt them as much as we want. So I think that is what we need to talk about and need to introspect. You know, while we are sitting over here, we are, while we are intellectualizing the whole ideology, the forces of oppression are acting out there in society, playing out their agenda, enforcing their will. If we have to counter them, we, like Baba Saheb and Bapu, need to be out on the streets. And that is where the real uh, homage to people like him would happen. Otherwise, it's mere rituals in a fancy manner or in a crude manner. And that's what we have done. That's why Bapu has been turned into a Mahatma, where Mahatma is nice to worship. Let's not study him. There are hundred volumes of his collected works gathering dust in every library where they are. And unfortunately, apart from the few, the same thing is going to happen with the collected works of Baba Sahib. The source of in, uh, inspiration the source of understanding, the source of learning. He's being allowed to rot away on bookshelves. What kind of worship are we talking about? So I think lip service is the right thing and that to insincere lip service is the way we should be describing what we have done to the legacy of both these great people.